Orthodox Jewish Bible. This is Galatians chapter 4, verse 4. But when the fullness of time had come, Hashem, God, YHVH, sent forth his Zun Fun der Oberster. Zun Fun der Oberster, born of an Isha, woman, born under Gazette's law. So we have the Zun Fun. This is OJB 2011 translation, the best. And this is the Hebrew. Now, Hebrew is the best. It's the Lashan HaKadosh. It's the Zunfunder Oberster, born of Isha, born under Gazetz, which is the law. So when Jesus Christ was born, he was born under Gazetz. Gazetz is Hebrew for the law. Amen? So now we need to understand that when you're born, because Messiah was born under law, no one's born under the law anymore. Listen to me, man. You've never heard this before. God gave me this this last weekend. Everyone is not born under the law. They're born under the ladder. Now, there are two ladders, the ladder of hell and the ladder of heaven. And the ladder of hell is all the wickedness of one third of the fallen angels, the sorcerers of Babylon the Great, and those 10 forms of sorcery in Leviticus 19 and 20. We did a short video about that weeks ago. Need to understand that's really what we're at war against in Israel, against the magic arts of the sorcerers that cause all the augury right on the pineal gland in the spiritual stomach, and they work all kinds of witchcraft and sexual morality and lies and divination and religions and politics and economic warfare, and it is total hell. So hell is the seven mountains of Esau, Ovidiah 21. Zion is going to rule over the mountains of Edom, which is Esau. So these end times, if we want to be successful, we have to understand Esau versus Jacob. This is the correct prophetic vision for all born-again Christians who love Jesus Christ in the entire world. We are at war against the husk. The circumcision of the heart and the mind is the answer to obliterate those foreskins and membranes. And as we've been teaching, there are five steps to circumcising every rung to go from glory to glory. The eye of the Hashmal. The Hebrew wisdom, the Jewish wisdom, the Bible wisdom, the Torah wisdom has written these things down, and now we are proclaiming them to you inside Christianity so you can have the wisdom to be successful against very, very powerful demonic beings in the heavens, really lying to people's minds and putting all kinds of sorcery and darkness and even blood magic, which is red magic, that Balaam sorcery of blood magic right over people's minds so that their blood is augured. Just like the river Nile, it had crocodiles, it had birds in it, it had uh, all kinds of frogs in it. That represents when the mind is covered with augury, all those foul beasts of birds, beasts, and reptiles of Romans 1 causes the person to not bear the image of God or to not be influenced in their mind by the Holy One of Israel by the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and by Jesus Christ, the Messiah of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And so we need to understand we are at war against sorcery, and sorcery only works in the husk, which is the uncircumcision of our souls, and the uncircumcision of our souls is the seven mountains of Esau, known as Edom. It's a nation of Edom. So there's only really one nation out here at Babylon the Great. It's Edom. It's the uncircumcised soul. The circumcised soul <laughs> is Israel. This is heavenly Israel, the heavenly Jerusalem, book of Revelation of Jesus Christ. It is written. And we need to have our citizenship through circumcision. So when all these attacks are coming against people in these days, the answer is seeking the sword of the Spirit, the word of Mashiach, the Torah of Jesus Christ. His gospel is his Torah. Acts chapter 2 says the apostles spent all their time studying the deep secret meaning of Messiah's Torah. That's Orthodox Jewish Bible, Acts chapter 2. The apostles, the leaders of Christianity in the Bible, spent all their time in prayer, which is 
the speaking of what they're studying, and it says they were studying the oral tradition of Jesus Christ, the Sod of Sod Torah of the Mashiach Yehoshua Rebbe Armelech of Israel, who reigns from Yerushalayim above. Amen. Now, in that place of holiness, we can understand the two ladders. Messiah has come, given us his ability, given us his blood, his water, and his Torah, and the angels of the God I am, whom I serve, obey Messiah's Torah. It's all about Torah. The gospel is the Torah of the Messiah, and it's filled with his blood sacrifice. And so when you receive the teaching and don't reject it by holding on to the husk and the foreskin and membrane of the heart, the teaching goes in and cuts away that ladder of Babylon the Great that you're born under. Babylon the Great is a kelepot clippeth ladder. So since no one is born under the law, the law is fulfilled in Messiah. That's Galatians 4.4. 4. So what is the law now? The law is either the legalism of the, the rules made up by fallen angels of the black ladder, or it's the law of liberty in Christ Jesus, the laws of Mashiach, which is the angelic Torah, the ten utterances of Genesis 1, the ten angelic commandments, 2,000 years before there were the commandments at Sinai, there were let there be light in the commandments of Genesis 1, the commandments of the angels, which are ten. If you read Genesis 1, God speaks let there be Ten times, only ten times does God the Father speak, and each time he speaks, it's an angelic commandment, it's an angelic rung, and those ten commandments are the sephirot of Jacob's ladder, which is our sapphire pavement to heaven if we seek circumcisions. So just understand this now. This is how the law is fulfilled. This is a great mystery. No one is born under gazettes. But when the fullness of time had come, Hashem, God, Yarevav, YHVH, sent forth his son von der Oberster, born of Anishta, born of Anisha, a woman, born under the Gazettes, Gazettes, the law, the law of Moses. Amen. So since he was born under the law of Moses, died as the sacrificial Messiah, fulfilling the law of Moses, there is no one born under the law anymore. What happens and why things are so crazy out here is that everyone is born under the kelepot clippeth ladder of the fallen angel sorceries that many secret societies in every nation called deep state is absolutely influencing their nations by that ladder, maintaining that black ladder, maintaining that sorcery. It's black, it's white, it's red, it's all the magic arts of the fallen angels that have been taught to the nations and the rulers of the nations for thousands of years. That's all of hell. But heaven is the ladder of Jacob Israel. And this is heaven, that is hell. As we seek circumcision, we come out from the ladder of hell and we come under the ladder of the commandments of Jesus Christ, which are the angelic Torah, as it's written in Revelation. And the angels shall preach the eternal gospel from the mid heavens. It is written. So we're no longer listening to the gospel down in the earth. We're listening to angelic teaching of the angelic law of the eternal covenant of Jesus Christ in the mid heavens. And that's what's going to set you free from coming out of the kelepot and out of the mixture of that ladder and being circumcised of heart and mind and bone and marrow. Really five levels of circumcision to the eye of the hashmal, the amber glow of the Shekinah in every rung of Jacob's ladder beginning in the center of the earth, all the way up Ein Sof, infinite levels of glory to glory forever. 2 Corinthians 3.18, it is written. So I believe the first layer is in the bones, the second layer is in the heart, the third layer is in the stomach, and the fourth layer is in the mind's eye and the pineal gland. And when all four of those are removed, then the fullness of that rung is complete in Christ, and the fifth will shine forth in the grace of the Lord Jesus through your divine body of Christ, each and every one of you who love Jesus and love His commandments.